What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike, and this high school baseball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. The world was a different place seven years ago, the last time Wilson Bruins baseball got this far in the CIF playoffs. And this is a very different game, maybe unlike any they've ever played, ever. Aw, uh, shucky ducky, Jage. Wilson got their first CIF win since 2015. Now they're in their first quarterfinal since 2011. They came back to upset number two Arcadia. They are familiar with the Bucks, who got into the playoffs as a wildcard team. Wilson sending pitcher Ryan Petway to the mound, but not the only Bruin to take the bump today. Spoiler alert, the Bucks had a tough time hitting these Wilson pitchers today, Mike. Shh, don't jinx it. Stop it. <laughs> Didn't have trouble getting on base, though. Three walks loads the bases in the second inning, and the fifth walk from Petway is going to end up giving Bellflower a 1-0 lead without getting a hit. Yikes. Uh, that would be shades of things to come. Nick Endress comes on in relief. Bases loaded, two outs, gets the K. Big time. Endress ends the threat, uh, and that would loom large. Let's take a second and recognize one of the coolest places to watch high school baseball here in Southern California. I mean, that's a perch, Mike. They should extend the fence to go up. Those guys are all in danger. Top of the third, Nolan Ornella, so underrated. Big hits in both CIF wins, and this is single to left. He legs it out into a double. Ornelas would take third base on a flyout. Yeah, those easy bases would also loom large today because with one out, Christian Tavares, good piece of hitting there. RBI the other way, ties the game 1-1. And uh, Mike, not all runs created equally as we look at the scoreboard here. I was doing a lot of double takes at the scoreboard throughout this game for sure, as were some of the coaches. Bruins back at it in the fourth, a one out single and a walk puts two on and it's 20. Ornelas gonna double his pleasure, double his fun with another double. He had two doubles. This one gonna be an RBI after he scored a run earlier. Miguel Martinez into put Wilson up 3-1 and momentum has officially moved to the visitors dugout. Miggy getting jiggy for sure. The Bruins were feeling themselves. And speaking of having yourself a day. Cricks. Tavares going the other way again for another RBI. Wilson takes a 3-1 lead. Tavares with a pair of RBI hits. Now for something completely different. Catcher Nick Moore steps on the plate between innings, hurts his knee, and Dean Kafalis got to come in on, I guess, in relief? Yeah, right. Definitely a difficult situation. Endres did not miss a beat, though. Bellflower still hitless through four. I'm sorry. I, I really don't want to jinx these guys. Shit. Top five getting hot at the right time. That's Martinez, and he is that senior for this team. He and Jalen Cannon both single here in the fifth. Runners on the corners, and Alex Seguin going to add to the lead with a double of his own. Wilson is up four to one. And you should be feeling really confident, but in the bottom of the fifth, the Bucks put a runner on third with a walk, and then an error on a throw to first, and then a bock with runners on the corners. This shot to the gap looks like big trouble. But they got a churro there. Ryan Guerrero out of nowhere. And then the heads up Nist to get the ball back in. Jack O'Dell gonna finish the double play that's gonna end the inning. Churro with the 562.org bump. Straight out of Disneyland for the churro. Big time play right there. However, uh, they would score a run. Huh? I, we're still not entirely sure what happened. Andy Hall's explanation was, hey, it's 4-2, go win the game. Bruins up 4-2 I mean, after five that's innings. That's a force play though, right? This is what this game was, people. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> Wilson going to bring in a third pitcher, Aiden Alanis. He is the more league ERA leader, and he promptly walks and then hits a batter with one out. It sounded like they were golfing out there when he hit the back of that helmet, for sure. Obviously, everyone okay. Happy to see that. But Bruins in more trouble, but the big A gets a slow roller to the right side, and Jalen Cannon silky smooth with the easy tag and the little cannon for the double play. Unbelievable stuff from him. The transfer coming up huge for Wilson here in the playoffs to the seventh inning. Three outs away from the no-no. First out comes on a line drive to Seguin. Second out comes on a line drive to Tavares. They got guys there. Remember when we said everything going Bruins way? Great heads up, quick reaction plays from the infielders to keep that zero up on the hit column for the for the Buccaneers. And it's apropos that a little PFP ends it. Winner, winner, combined no-no dinner. The Buccaneers put 11 base runners on and uh, none of them were via the hit. <laughs> no, it was one of the strangest games ever and it was awesome that <laughs> the Wilson came out on top because you never want to lose a game like that. Andy Hall breathing a big sigh of relief afterwards. His team is not done. Wilson will be at Pasadena La Salle on Tuesday in the semifinals. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Naples Rib Company, and to follow everything local sports, you're already in the right place. Make sure you subscribe to the 562.org for all of your Long Beach sports coverage.